Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to, to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Belief is a big deal, no doubt. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 177, NASDAQ up 105, SP's up 4.5. Gold, gold contract uh, up $20, trading at 2,437 an ounce. We have silver up $1.20 at $32.46 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down 28 cents, seventy-nine dollars seventy-eight cents a barrel. Copper, copper is up six pennies at five ten a pound. Light sweet uh, notes and bonds. Ten-year note down four ticks, trading one hundred nine oh two. Thirty-year down eight at one seventeen oh two. And king dollar, king dollar right now. Would you disappear to on me? Here we go. Up one hundred and twenty-six ticks at one hundred four five seventy-one. Euro one hundred eight. Again, 156 British pound, 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's go into the futures first and see what we have here. We just did the update with the SPY, and it looks like both of them are going to fail on price and volume. If we go into the SPY, oh, yeah, we're going to go with the lows. Okay, so we go into the SPY. That's a high volume low. So when we just came down 50 minutes ago, we're going to be back down there. That number is uh, 53.23. 10 points below where we are right now. Nine points below where we are right now. That came down. Actually, both of them came down. The second one is, is a bigger one. Look at this. Interesting, man. So they finished a small ABC. Let me, I'm going to go to the young Qs for a second because they, they were stronger. They're still stronger. But I suspect that it, that is also going to have some kind of a high volume low. Okay, so we take a look at the NQs. Yep, it's there. Okay, so not as much selling, but at the bottom line, it's there. So on this one right here, okay, we just finished a 10 minute buy. So we went down on uh, 100 and, no, 13,000 contracts. We just went up on seven. The seven's going against 12. So that's saying that all said and done, more than likely we're going to be back to the lows in both the NQs and the ES, you know, as we come into the close here. So that shakes out. Gold. Take a look at the gold contract out here, bottom line. Let me go this way. I'm going to do the generic one for a second because gold has so many ABCs up. It's wild, man. So we take a look at the... The gold contract. I'm going to put a. There we go. I got a generic one up here. Okay, so let's just see here. So if I do this, I think we've hit every. 2550 is the, the larger ABC up. So that's, that's 113 bucks away. So if I do it this way, 2000. Oh, look at this. Hold on one second. 2,078. Okay, so that's 400. Yeah, that's still, we just, what we just did, if you, I, I did this conservatively too. I only took this one. What we just did, when we broke top side here, if you take the measurements from the top, and I didn't take the full bottom because I took this one here, it'd be more conservative. We've actually already hit that price projection. <laughs> Man, this thing wants to go. SIA. Let's go take a look at the silver contract. The silver is on fire, man. There's no two ways about that, man. This is like... So we take a look at... Silver. 147,000 contracts today. That's big numbers, man. Huge. For silver. So, let's do this. What was this one here? This was uh, 30, that's six bucks. 
Okay, we're still on that one. 3425 is the next number here. 3425. So now I'm going to go into the generic one because I believe it's a lot higher than that on the generic one. Meaning, the reason you do a generic one, folks, is that when you're analyzing it and you're looking at the left-hand side of the chart, which in most cases you can do as long as they've come down, is that you want to know where the swing point is because markets love to go to swing points. And in silver, there's a few big ones. Yeah, see, we just launched... We just launched this. Yep, we just launched the swing point from uh, February of 2021. Yeah, 37 bucks. Here's 35. Yeah, 35 is the next number. So 35, 37, 44. Now, if I do this, let me do this one this way. Watch this. If I go, if I take the top of the range, 30, I'll just, I'm not going to take the bottom. Oh, my God, 7. That's 37. So 37 is game, man. 37 is game. It, what I just did, just if you follow in here, I took this and then the bottom here when we broke. I didn't take the very bottom. When I do this, normally, it, listen, this is an art versus a science anyway. So... Bottom line is that I took from the top to the bottom of the consolidation. That's seven. Added seven onto the thirty. There's thirty-seven, and is thirty-seven swing. So you got some real action here, man. We go take a look at the GDX because we know coming to the end of the month, the good old uh, Tim Ward number. Uh, what is happening here is that this thing's gonna fly, man. You know, we get a couple. Well, I don't even know if we need a couple more days. You got the the GDX is trading up today. It's broken. Let's just see here. Yeah, you broke, you broke the top of the consolidation. So the next number for the GDX is 41. And right now you're at 37. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now down 159. NASDAQ is up 118. S&P's are up seven and a half. Stay right there. Come back when I'm at Mr. Steve Rhodes, folks. Mm -hmm.